Hey, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends, where we're in a scene which in no way ever inspired a lot of fan art. I'm just kidding, of course it did. And I dare say there was a lot of Rule 34 about it too. But I wouldn't know about that. God, she is going through every possible range of emotion right now. most unlikely looking air pirate ever. I mean, I'm guessing that Blue Rogues, instead of actually being like a group that everyone knows, they're more like more like a movement, I guess. <laughs> Cue the embarrassment. Cue the uh, basic confirmation of the love triangle. <laughs> and perhaps disturbingly, that female sailor that came in, whose name is Bella. I think it's Bella? Or Belle, maybe. Um, inspired enough Rule 34 of her own. Welcome to the dark side of the internet. So last time we were in Maramba. Now we're in the actual capital, Nazrad. And what time for you to set sail? You literally just got here. It's only 5,000 gold. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit creepy. I mean, I'm sure she's boiled a few rabbits in her time. <laughs> of course, Fina doesn't know what a honeymoon is. Let's go see if we can find a place to sleep. After we've just woken up. And it's morning. And welcome to the first time we've been in control of a character that isn't Vice, I think. I don't remember how much there is sitting around here for us to pilfer. I love them. I love the uh, Nazar. Can't go up here. Can I? Oh, I can. Thought the guards would stop me. That was just the weirdest climbing animation ever. But you know, let's just let a young girl climb up to the cannons. chest up here. There isn't. I'm not one of these players who in RPGs goes and talks to every single person. I'll explore a lot of things but I don't really like talking to a lot of the NPCs. A lot of them have really trite conversations. 
Now, I don't care about your life story. I'm just trying to find stuff. I'll quick skeet around. Lots of peppers and I'm assuming pumpkins, but they look kind of moldy. I mean, last time I checked, pumpkins weren't blue. And that's either feed for those animals or it's their meat. Chilies. And of course there's market stalls. Let's have a look at what we've got on us. We've got no gold. And we have... Literally just what's on our backs. Obviously, Vice has everything. And it isn't a magic suitcase that we're carrying, so we can't all share items. More tomatoes and peppers. Cannonballs. Yeah, there's nothing around to find. Let's go inside. Tire of this running animation. It's the most flat picture there in the gates. I mean, this looks pretty damn pretty, I have to say. Kind of like it here. kind of her. We didn't see a red moon in the sky when we looked up, so you can assume we're not in the uh, in the Nazar Kingdom. Or is that a red moon? That storm doesn't seem to have come. I didn't see any food on this island. I wonder if some has mysteriously spawned. And there's Gonzalez's grave. We finally did bury him. Yeah. God, this camera's really doing a number on me. I think now some items may have appeared. Yep, some stuff has spawned, and now we get to kill things. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're pretty easy to kill. They don't really pose much challenge. They're really just killing them for their meat. Now here is a plot device. It was indeed. See what magic you need to learn, actually. Yeah, purple's right here closest to leveling something up in, so. Hey, grapple meat. Can't remember how many grapple meat I need to get. Hmm. 
Guess I was wrong about the items. Can't see any moons in the sky. The moon would appear to them to have set. These things only spawn in the these grassy areas. Yeah, there's no items. I thought they spawn here too. I honestly thought there was some items around here. Ooh, hello, grapplers. Moons, give me strength. Seems a logical conclusion, doesn't it? Surrounded by multiple enemies. Nuke them. Nuke them for more of it. It's the only way to be safe. For sure. That was easy. Only way to be sure. It's been too long since I've seen that movie. Four grapple meat. I think I have to get like ten grapple meat, so I've got six now. So, another multiple encounter will do, ni do nicely. Ah, man. Doing that camera. Moons, give me strength. And it's not like Vice is going to use magic too much that any other easy. time, so you know, might as well use up the magic points. Just keep running and running and running. Running and running and running. There we go. And only one. Yeah. No point using a spell on it. Well, I can just do that. Obviously not enough grapple meat. We'll just keep going until Vice says we've got enough. Ooh, another four. So little health, even that one that was blocking is still still out. That was easy. Guess it's a good way to instantly barbecue the meat. Oh really? I honestly thought it was ten. I mean, here's the problem, right? If I'm collecting all this grab or meat, it's going to go off in a couple of days. I'm not going to eat all this grab or meat in a couple of days. So, you know, why not kill a couple each day? Kill what you need when you need it. Vice is not a man of logic. That was easy. Don't know how much grapple meat I've got now. <coughs> Obviously enough. Sorry for the cough. And it's mysteriously dark already. That was a day something. No, because it'll go rancid soon.
pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> oh, look, there's a moonfish up there. There's a lot of noise around here. Oh, there's some firewood. So we know, we know what it looks like. don't need the food. I need two more of these. I think now that I've got myself food. Come on. I think now that I need... I'll, I'll finish this sentence eventually. I think now that the need for food is gone, um, they won't spawn any more grapplers. And this is a nice day's work, you know? Doing a few minutes work. Some nice cooling rains. Gotta find some way of keeping yourself busy. And if you're really determined to get off this island, you'd fix the boat in the rain. <laughs> yes, of course there's going to be some moonstones lying around. And we just haven't seen them. There are some real... Deus Ex Machina going on in the island, I gotta admit. Oh, look, a moonstone. So the rain is unearthing the moonstones. And that seems really handy plot device, if I ever saw one. Eh, camera. Eh. Camera's determined to fight me on this one. Oh. That was a red moon. In that. There's a moonfish up there somewhere. Can't see it anymore. I mean, these look like a pretty potent fuel source. So I can only assume that engines in this world are really inefficient. I gotta find one more. Come on, Moonstone. I know you were around here somewhere.
another week has passed. The game really isn't very good at telling time, I'll give it that. Doing a lot of work. I suppose I needed a lot of repairs. Definitely seems to be going somewhere. It's a pretty red moon. Pretty unmistakable. Not a boat, it's a ship. Run, Vice, run! You should probably get that fire a little bigger. Pretty cool looking ship, we'll give it that. And surely to signal that we saw them, or they saw us, it could just come down. Hmm. You can tell what sort of pirate runs this ship. Proper one, he has a parrot and everything. I love Gilder. <laughs> He's great. Here's really trusting. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, I chose the wrong option. Uh -oh. Well, I don't think I can ever get Vice the Legend, eh? He's just letting me take command of a ship. Great. Convenient. And Gilder has joined our party. Hmm. Let's learn him a super move. Magic, as you know, he knows some basic stuff. I don't think it's possible to get in a ship battle with this. See, so you can see where we are now, Crescent Island. Oh, we're pretty much just going due south. That looks like a thing. It is a thing. Well, that was a very short, short flight. <clears throat> Guess who? Yep. <laughs> Gilder is the one that Clara's after. Here's a funny way of going about adventure. Operation Clara. Like they've rehearsed this. We'll see if we catch up with Ika and Fina next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends. Thanks for watching.